Phase 1, D-Day. According to The Guardian, on the day the Queen dies, Edward Young, the Queen's private secretary, will be the first official to convey the news, setting Operation London Bridge into full gear. And at the exact moment in which she passes, Prince Charles will become King, and Camilla will become Queen ish. We'll explain that a bit later. On a secure line, Young will directly inform the British Prime Minister that London Bridge is down, and the news of her death will be distributed to various heads of state before it is disclosed to the general public. Once the Prime Minister is alerted, the Foreign Office's Global Response Centre will alert the 15 governments where the Queen is still considered the head of state. From there, the 37 nations where she still serves as a political figurehead will also be informed. After this, the announcement of her death will be shared with both the UK's press association and the rest of the media outlets across the globe. Outside the palace, the news crews will be able to assemble in a predetermined area next to the Canada Gate. The same message will appear on the palace's website on a dark background. All the flags at the palace will be lowered and bells will toll.